hello now let me show you how to create a simple list form okay so for that you can see that i have a project and if you'll open it you will be able to see employee table and it is having few fields for example employee id employee name employee designation employee gender employee salary so few fields are there and you can see the data type of it in this in this property section now to create a form you have to right click on the project and then just add a new item okay and then what you have to do go to the d365 item and you have to choose this user interface okay and now what you have to do you have to take a form and you have to give the name of that form so i am giving here the name as a employee table form so after giving the name what you have to do just add it and now from this section you can easily see that uh, in the left side section you can see the nodes for a, for the form and in the middle section you can see that is it is talking about the design pattern and pattern is unspecified okay so from here what you have to do you have to add the data source okay you can see that no data source is there so you can right click or you can directly drag and drop the data source like this so you can drag and drop your table in the data source section and from there what you have to do you have to right click to create the form pattern now here you can see that apply pattern is there so i want to create a simple list so if you'll go above um, and someone is asking you that what are the form pattern that i, I can apply in, uh, while creating the form so you can take the name of all these types of form okay so at this point of time as we are creating the simple list so we have to click the simple list to apply the pattern and as you can see that when we apply the simple simple list it is showing the pattern section in this section and uh, here we have to select the missing one which is marked as a red so in simple list pattern we know that it is containing the action pin so at least you had to select one accent pin you can select multiple one but at least one is required okay and here in the below section you can see that in the footer section you can uh, apply zero or one so if you have required any footer which is a group then you can then you can use that group footer but that is this is optional okay so to get a action pane so what i have to do just right click on it and then new and then you have to use the action pin above here so if we we'll select it and if we we'll go above you can see that this action pin is actually added now we have to add two more so if we we'll go here then you will be able to see in this below section this is a sub pattern under one pattern okay so we have to check that also if there is any essential pattern is required or not now we have to do one more thing we have to use a custom filter group so you have to take a group just right click new and then from here you have to select one group so if we'll go above you can see that one group is added and this one the group is now again go to the above design pattern simple list and now you can see there is a one grid so we have to add that one also so now what we have to do from here you have to choose a grid okay so i have clicked on grid now if we'll go to the above section you can see everything is added here and no red mark is there so in the grid section what you can do you know that in the field section of our table we have these fields so we can select all these fields and we can add uh, in our grid section so let me choose and drag and drop on this grid so as you can see that by clicking on the control key i have selected all these fields and now what i have to do i have to drag and here i have to drop it okay so when you are creating any form you can 
uh, see the properties from this section it is having the employee name and uh, in form template you can see in this there is none this is from the x2012 version in x2012 uh, x2012 version they are using actually template but in this case we are using the pattern okay now what i have to do now if you click the uh, design pattern section so you have to go here and then from here you can uh, select the caption you can write the caption of, but if you we'll go a little bit below there is you can see that there is a data source and from this data source you can select the uh, employee table because we are uh, using the employee table as our data source and if you, you, you can see that title data source is there so you can also select the title data source so if you'll select this one so it will fetch the title from the employee table itself okay and there you can see that we have a pattern form uh, group control and you can select we have to select one okay so if you'll right click it uh, we can uh, add a uh, custom and quick filter so if you'll click on that there you can see that we have a quick filter is missing here so here what you have to do just you have to right click and then from here you have to select a quick filter so here you can see that we have a quick filter just click on it and you can see everything is okay so as you can see that we have added all these components or the uh, pattern details inside this simple list pattern so as you can see that here if you'll click there and if you want to change the name of this particular um, form action name you can do that but uh, it will take if i'll change each and everything here it will take much time but in practical scenario you should change all this name and if there is a label or caption is there if it is having the caption then you can use that one to customize it properly but this is the minimum requirement but if you will not give any name system will automatically take the name okay but remember that if you want to show it in a proper way you have to keep the name of this kind of form action control as well as the grid if you want to name keep the name of the grid by default you can see that it is showing the form grid control so you can change the uh, details from here as well as if there is a properties if you want to um, keep the allow edit to yes it means in the grid we can edit the details if it is it will be selected as no then we will be not be able to edit the data inside that particular form okay so this way a uh, few properties also there you can use that or uh, you can read from the MSDN document to know about each and every properties that is associated to a particular control okay for example you can uh, see the uh, details of this particular control as well as you can see the details of this control uh, let me show the grid once and there we have a properties that is the data source of that particular grid so here from here you can uh, select the employee table itself now let me make it as a startup object and now what i'll do i'll just uh, right click on the project and i'll build this and i'll show you the result okay now let me build it rebuild it so if you want to open this particular form then we have to create a menu item and we have to attach this particular form to that particular menu item then we will be able to open this particular form so let me create that menu item first so to display a particular form we have to create a menu item and it will be a display menu item so we have to click new even from user interface uh, you have to select the uh, menu item that is display menu item and here i have to give the name so here i have just given the employee table menu item and then i have to click it now if you'll go to the property section of this menu item then you will be able to see here that object type here here you can see that object type is form here and now from here we have to select the form uh, that i have created 
so here we have created the employee table so from here we have to select the employee table form and then we have to make it as a startup object okay this one we have to select startup object and then we have to build rebuild one more time to open this particular menu item okay and we can attach this particular menu item to our main menu to see in the front end and uh, if you want to click this menu item from the front end you can attach it to main menu item so we'll also show that in another video so that it will not be confusing uh, from this particular point of view now from here you can see that if you will open uh, the front end you will be able to see it will open cmp means company dat and mi means menu item it will be by default the default dashboard and you can see from here the dat that is the company account data so to if you want to open this particular menu item so what you have to do you have just copy the name of this particular display menu item and remember that your build process should be uh, done otherwise you will not be able to open this particular menu item now in this place of the default default dashboard you just paste the value of the employee table menu item name and if you we'll click here then it will open your uh, employee table menu item itself then it's associated form so this one is nothing but the employee table form in this caption you can see that employee table form is there which we have mentioned in our form section and uh, uh, in this section you can see there is a filter over here and uh, you can see the employee gender these are the uh, fields that we have added in our grid section okay now this is the default value uh, of a default value of a new uh, record so if you want to create a new record you can also do that for example you can select the female doctor employee id you can give anything over here and name you can give for example i'm just giving here woman and employee salary in decimal i can give anything okay and after that you can save it and if you will refresh it it will retain the data uh, and you can see the default value that i have have shown earlier it is actually not present over here now if you want to create one more data you can also uh, do that you can give the employee id employee name here and over here you have to give the salary okay so you can select the mail as well you can uh, edit the data over here from here so you can save also from here so if you want to search over here you can also search the data like this so i hope now it's clear that how we can create a simple list and in the above section uh, you can see also new save delete button there is an option you can also use the default actions from this action so thanks for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye